Hey guys, it's Jacob with the Real Estate Agents Collective and today we're going to go over three ways that you can market yourself as a new realtor. And you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end because I'm going to give some great tips and tricks on how you can get your YouTube channel started and what videos you should record. So let's go ahead and get started. The first way to leverage yourself as a new realtor, and everybody talks about it, but not a lot of people do it, and that's your sphere of influence. That's your family, your friends, the people you go to church with, the people you work with, the, the soccer team that your kids are on. All those people are people that know you and they know people. So go ahead and start collecting names, put them in a good CRM so you can track them. You can constantly send out weekly emails, monthly emails, text messages, letting people know that you're a realtor. Pick up the phone, call people, touch base with people you haven't talked to in a while and let them know what's going on in your life. Generally ask about their life and let them know, hey, I'm, I'm a realtor looking for people. Do If you know anybody or you come across people, please refer them my way. And then put those people into your CRM. Leverage your community because those are just people that are gonna need a realtor one day. Make friends with homeowners every day. I've heard this from several realtors. Make friends with four or five homeowners every day. And no matter when you get to a slow market, people are gonna know you because you're constantly meeting people, you're adding to that pipeline, and you're building that sphere of influence because people trust you, they're warm leads. So that brings us to our second point, and that's social media. Social media is not new. Everybody's trying to do it. You keep hearing, be a modern agent, uh, do real estate the modern way. And that's with social media. Everybody's on there, right? And um, with social media, start making posts and announcements that you're there. Update all of your profiles, whether it's on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Let people know that you're a realtor. Start using those hashtags for realtor, realtor in your city, uh, real estate, uh, buying homes, selling homes. Find those hashtags that work for you in your area. Make sure also that you're actually going out into the city. A lot of mistakes realtors make is they think that they're only selling homes. So they're trying to put every picture of a home they can. And then their Instagram or their Facebook feed just looks like a real estate magazine. You don't want that. People can find pictures of real estate anywhere. They can go search your local realtor board or uh, Zillow or realtor.com to find pictures of houses. They want to find a real estate agent that's knowledgeable about the area that can tell them where they need to be and the, know where the price range they're looking for and the best house for them and what's to love about that community. So showcase those local businesses, showcase um, you know family things to do, those tur tourist things in the area. You want to show case why it's great to live there because you're not selling a home you're selling a lifestyle and you're selling a community and that's what's important plus you want to leverage local kind of influencers or popular places and restaurants in your area because you can tag them and i don't know if you guys pay attention but when you tag somebody in a story it pops up in their dm and they instantly click add to story so it's a great way to get in front of their audience um, an audience that you normally wouldn't have and leverage that as well. And another thing with social media, you can run some ads, right? You can run some Facebook ads, you can run Instagram ads. The best ad that was uh, successful for me was I ran an ad uh, that tied into my local CRM and my website for a filter search of homes in Sugarland, Texas, right? And so what I did was check out all these open houses in Sugarland, Texas, and then wrote some great copy, put a, a stock picture there, and then made sure that um, I did a lead gen uh, form that automatically imported into my CRM. And we'll do another video explaining how to specifically do that ad. But you know, an ad about check out the latest open houses in the area or check out the newest homes on the market. People are already searching. So if you can show them something new that they haven't seen themselves, you're gonna look like you have the in, right? So make sure that you're doing those type of ads and then they all bring back to their CM, CRM and you can capture that information so you can immediately pick up the phone and call those people because they're looking for a home. And that brings us to the most popular topic everybody wants to talk about and that's YouTube. You know, everybody wants to be on YouTube but what's funny is not a lot of people are doing it or they start out with a few videos, they get discouraged and they stop. You know, I kind of fell into that in the beginning, um, had a little success with it, got busy and didn't consistently post. And this is the biggest tip I can give you, just consistently, even if it's one time a week or once every other week or twice a month, make sure you're consistently posting content. Some great videos to record would be um, 
why you choose to live. So my first video was the top five reasons I relocated to Houston, Texas. And just share about your story, why this city is great for you. And, and make sure you share your story because people will relate to that and they'll want to do business with you. And so, you know, your experience in life is what makes you and some other people are on that same journey as you. So this will help to kind of warm them up a little bit, especially with something so cold as digital. And this allows to give that human touch. So I recommend um, why you live in a certain area. Showcase local places like the top five coffee shops, like here in Houston, the best three taco trucks, or um, you can do the best family spots. Make sure you're showcasing the community as well, local businesses. It doesn't always have to be about the houses. You can go do community tours, maybe the top five mastermind communities um, in your area, or go do a model home tour. You can go do some nicer homes. Anything to get content, look around what everybody else is doing, what's getting them views, and try to find something that's working and you know, make it work, but just start somewhere. And you don't need really fancy equipment. You can get started with a cell phone and a microphone off uh, e um, Amazon. You know, just get started. You can always improve the quality there because people just want to see the information. So I hope you enjoyed those things. If you did, make sure you like this video, make sure you subscribe so that you can get weekly notifications of our video. And if you're looking for a brokerage and you haven't got your license yet, check down in the description, EXP Realty. We'd love to have you on our team. We give so much value, social media training, weekly mastermind calls. We'd love to have you aboard our team. Reach out to us today and we'll see you next time.